Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Riello. And Sashimi. And we are here with a nappy stubby, but also a very nappy... Coach Axel. Look at this face. Oh, he's blepping, oh my god. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> as you guys heard... Axel's still on the show, but this is what we're here for. Monster Hunter figure bugger. Figure bugger? <laughs> Figure bugger? Figure bugger. Figure bugger. <laughs> okay, so this is the Capcom <laughs> figure, bu figure Builder oh my God. Plus Volume 21. This yep. Figure bigger pay. I will attempt to open it and not destroy the box. I'm on a roll. So the figure builder set here is actually a blind box set. You gonna help, bud? Normally you'd buy these and you would get one of the creatures that is present or one of the monsters from it uh, at random. But we went ahead and ordered the whole box. As we do. Because we don't like playing the lottery. <laughs> Make our own luck. It's actually much cheaper though if you get these in the full boxes, uh, like oh, everything yeah. else. Oh, is we, that a snack? We get this from amiami.com, and this particular box is the newest one that they've come out with. My axle is just super entertained. So if there are particular monsters that you would like to get a hold of in any of these blind box sets, uh, we recommend going to an import site or your favorite uh, site for getting these kinds of things and getting an entire box. That way you can just grab all of them and if you do have others, one of the... You almost knocked over your energy drink? I did. One of the good things is, is if you get figures that you don't like, uh, you actually can sell them online. Um, I don't recommend scalping them, you know, don't, don't gouge, but I mean, it, it is your figure, so you do what you're going to do. But usually you can sell these. Uh, the figures usually go average range is like between 10 to 25 bucks, depending on the figure. They can go higher depending on the rarity and the desire of the monster. But usually you get six figures in a plus box, nine figures in a regular box, and you can usually sell them for that kind of an amount. <laughs> Snore. Comes with cat toys. Okay. But you can usually sell the extras online and easily make up the difference for what you spend on the box, which is normally like, these go from anywhere from 35 through 70 bucks for an entire box, depending on if you're like, if your website has any deals or anything like that. So. Oh, you think Bowsprax is in here? Oh, maybe. <laughs> so I guess while you open the first box, I'll look at the artwork here. So these boxes do have hints on the monsters that you can get inside. You gonna knock Ebisu over there, buddy? He's working on it. This series has oh. Volvodon, Kikurage, no. Kikurage. This series has Volvodon, it's got, if I could get it to zoom in, there we go. Uh, looks like we've got the two, I don't want to, I don't want to do any spoilers, but you guys know those from Rise. This is very dark. This pose and coloring on Rathalos is really cool, let me get them out of the bag. It's so dark. Excellent like right here, so if the camera gets bumped, you guys know why. He's having a blast. Yeah, he's loving that. Who says you gotta pay a whole extra ton of money for cat toys? And you have a Q-tip and some string, golden. A new or challenger has <laughs> entered the battle. Wood. Is this like his Apex version, maybe? Yes. They kind of have those dirt. Yeah, this should be Apex Rathalos. I'm just going for the grab. Yikes. 
so we will take a closer look at the figures while Sasha undoes the next one. Undoes. Undoes. <laughs> <laughs> This is not a, This is not an unboxing anymore. It's an undoing. I think the secret dude is a clear Valstrax and got his little torpedo butt. Yeah, with each of these guys, you're gonna get a part of the variant. So, like I was shown on the box, you get all the different parts. Since there's six figures, you get the stand with one, and then you get a piece of him with the others. Stubby's back there destroying the blinds. Man, the first box is so clean. Dang it. I'm gonna look at this one. Right. We're supposed to be looking at figures as well as cats. Mm, I can't remember this dude's name. He's that floaty guy at the end of Rise. Or I guess floaty girl. Yes, that's the floaty girl. <laughs> floaty dude. Man, this one's big for a figure builder. Oh my god, figure builder. It's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> a figure builder. The details in this series are very, very good. In the beginning, they were really good, but they've gotten better as time has gone on, and they've got they've got such fine detail and such really good paint jobs now. They've got yeah, especially considering how small they are. I'm getting good with like the shiny bits. Where is your? And it's good to see a different there. posing for Rathalos because Rathalos has actually been done time and time again throughout the series. Yeah. And usually, it's it's one of two poses. This one is actually a little different. Oh, I don't trust that. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna stay. It looks like she's pretty secure. Pardon our lack of memory on these these two. We've actually been away from Rise outside of some small uh, playthroughs recently. Yeah. So I can't quite remember the name. Naruha Tata Hinu? I think that's his. We've got some aggressive brother cleaning going on over here. <laughs> yeah, the details. Oh, Nar Narwa. Oh. Yeah, Narwa, okay. Naruha is a Japanese one. It's really someone. Wow, I really love the texturing on the little tubular parts. Wait, where was the... Oh. The head came with this one. Him face. Him little face. And him wing. This one. I think if we bring it over here, you should be able to see the details. Nice. Oh, okay. good. Tasty? No. Don't eat it. Palico wins. Height advantage alone. So we've got a wing now? Yeah, so it looks like the right wing. Oh, that's really nice. Looks like, like the, it. looks like the Valstrax model is really a really good one. So what one was that a part of? Uh, this dude. Um, ah, the hubby. Yeah, the dude dude. Uh, Ibushi? Ibushi? Ah, yeah, Narwa, uh, Narwa and Ibushi. That was it. I'm cheating. Read the box. Here's its stand. The impressive part of her reading the box is it's in Japanese. It it do be katakana.
I mean, the first one was so clean and I haven't been able to get another one open that nicely. I've only got one hand, so if you could put these oh, on this stand yeah. for me. <laughs> I'm trying to show them, but I, I can't get it to zoom or anything, so we're... I think we're just trying to move a little too quickly. Awkward question, but where's your hole? Sorry, man. Oh, there it is. And oh, he's upside down. In it goes. Yeah, he was always upside down. Yeah. I like... I think that's really cool that they have them... I bet you there could we go. put uh, properly oriented. I bet you could put them together. Yeah, like they have them on the box. That'd be cool. Yeah, because she's she's oriented upward and he's oriented downward. Oh, colorful Valstrax. And Valstrax himself comes with the stand. My nose is itchy. Then you gotta right. scratch it. I can just hear the sound. He did. I need to put Narwa back on her. Oh, she fell. She did. Oh, you guys can actually see like the details in her her little leg bits. And she's using to protect her beastie bag. Got to protect the beastie bag. She's a handful. She's she's yeah, actually she's quite huge. large for a figure builder. Yeah, no kidding. That was the first thing I thought when I took that one out. So here's Valstrax. Like Sash said, he is in dive ball mode. Figures you can hear, like she said. Yeah. Oh, his his wings actually have a bit of a. Stuff? A bit of transparency to them. I can't read the kanji, so I don't know what that says that it came with them. Ooh, very nice. Very good top shelf piece. Yeah. Oh, this one's probably the worst so far. Ouch. Oops. It's, um, crap, I can't remember his name. Rangu? I think his name was different in English. Volvadon? Volvadon, yeah. You guys see him in the bag over there. He's trying to lick his... He's trying to lick his way out. Speaking of round... He's got a unique stand. I've never seen one like this. Oh, does he? Yeah. That's his stand. Oh my god, they needed one of these for a couple of these other round boys. Could have been great for, uh, like, what's his face? Uh, Trinidon. Oh, Trinidon oh. really could have used that. Yeah. He just didn't even have a stand. So, I guess it just fits like that, and then he just plop. Perfect. Man, Brilliant. that's, that's Simple. nice. Nice and intuitive. Oh, look at how cute he is. Look at him. He's just all, all cuddled up and round. Come here. <laughs> I thought you were talking to me for a second. <laughs> huh? I wanted to see the details on his back. Get over here. Get over here. God, I'm so destructive. He's very well built, like... What you think? The look says it all. He's like, what do you expect from me? I feel like I should be doing something. And then his face lit up. 
you seem a little tired. This one's... These clear dudes always need some help. Some glue. Wait, you missing some arms, bro? I think. His arms are underneath? Oh, mm. she's still over here laying on the ground with her beast bag. I need to... Where is your hole, madam? Did I miss his arms in one of these boxes? I just have to get her back onto her stand properly, you guys. So I'm going to put the camera right here. We are down to the last figure, you guys. So check this out. We do have Volvi. We've got Valley. We've got Angie Rathy. We got Ebby and Norway. Norway, man, that sounds southern as heck, doesn't it? We got Ebby and Norway. So the cool thing about these stands is they can actually clip together and you can put their posts into any of the holes so you can orient them in all kinds of ways. But you can yeah. also clip one stand to the other. So you can put two on the same stand too. There's some that have done that like um, Baroth and... What crap was his name? Plesioth. Number two. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, Geratodos. Yeah, that dude. Geratodos. Geratodos. We've got a standoff here. Some nibbling is about to happen. Palico buddy system at first. Man, but so then shiny. they attack. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> the brothers always gotta get a little rowdy. colors are so vibrant. Yeah, it's so shiny. It looks like he's made of metal. Yeah, this is Apex Mizu. Yeah. Look at his man. Look at how Lovely. gorgeous the, the the blue is like a crystal blue. Let me pop him off the stand real quick. Is it like a crystal blue belly? And his metallic scales look so clean but because of the clean nature of the the scales unfortunately his seams stand out yeah for quite a bit for cheap figures like these though i mean i, I don't expect them to be really even this high quality i love how shiny these this particular set is. Well, I just pointed out with this one yeah. because. Oh, you made him. Yeah, I lost his stand though. I pointed out with Mizu simply because this, as you can tell from the rest of these, uh, the Figure Builder series is honestly very, very good about hiding seams, really, really good paint job and, and sculpt quality. Yeah, they're so, incredible, especially for the price. This is and honestly a bit of an size. outlier. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, this tail bit is a little bit surprising. Because I think they've done a Mizu before. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking of this big Mizu. No, <laughs> they, they have done Mizu before. I can't remember which one. one. I'm not seeing it. But 
He's around somewhere. This is the figure builder Mizu, which is a very, very impressive oh, right figure. There. Oh, yeah, he's right there. I think he had the same issue with the seam, but it didn't stand out as much with that one's paint job. Yeah, actually, it looks like it is the same one, mm -hmm. but it's just a, it's a repaint, so. Yeah. Still very lovely. Yeah, very, very awesome series here. So as you can see, we've got seven figures. The seventh being the clear variant of Valstrax. Hmm. Usually the variants are clear, bluish, ice blue in nature, kind of like Sinogre there. Uh, yeah, we've also a got a one. red Glavinus. I've got a couple right here. We've got a red yeah. Glavinus right here. We've got Magnamalo is purple here. So these are all bonus variant figures from other sets. But there you have it, you guys. We've only got three minutes left, two minutes left now on our memory card. <laughs> so we've got to go ahead and hurry and wrap this up. We so, should go. yes, <laughs> we should go. Axel's over here at the cottage. We're looking for a cat. Yeah. But there you have it, guys. We've got the Narwa and the Abisu, or whatever his name was. We've got Angie. We've got Angie Rathalos, Angie Mizu, we've got both of our valleys, and Ibushi. we've got Rangu. Yeah. Ibushi's. Upside Ibushi, down. that's it. I'm thinking Ebiso because this is Ebiso. <laughs> Close enough. Anyway, you guys. Like, subs, all that stuff is up to you. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal like Axel here. Petfinder.com. Uh, ASPCA.org. You can also Google your local animal rescue options. If you can't bring one home, there's other ways you can help out those critters in need. You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. Or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You probably got something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to show it, plenty of ways to give it. And speaking of love, we love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Axel. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You gonna try to fit in the box? No. You gave up on that quick. Bye, Axel.